Hello Wargamers, I'm Evasive Aramis, and today I'm going to be talking about the two new flyers that are added in the Tau Empire Codex. That is the uh, Sun Shark Bomber and Razor Shark Strike Fighter. Um, but before we get into the actual review, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about either of these flyers in the comments below. And of course, uh, if you like the video, I think you know what to do. But uh, other than that, let's get on with the review. So. Uh, before I get into the uh, differences between these two flyers, there are actually a lot of things that are um, very similar between the, the Sun Shark and the Razor Shark. Um, they're both um, armor 11, 10, 10 with three uh, hull points, so they're relatively um, not resilient to, uh, to most weapons. Um, they could be easily taken out with Torn of Fire, even though most units don't have sky fire. If you fire it enough times, you're about to, you're bound to get a few sixes, and uh, of those sixes, you could potentially uh, harm this vehicle pretty easily. Um, they are ballistic skill three, which means that they are going to require some sort of marker light support, um, which I'll talk about more later. Um, and um, they will benefit generally from the same vehicle battle systems. Uh, you might be tempted to take decoy launchers, which would um, increase or would give you a four up and vulnerable save against weapons firing at you that have interceptor. Um, so that might be worth it. Uh, something else you might be tempted to take is the disruption pod, which will increase their um, cover saves by one. But that one probably probably isn't going to be worth it, just because uh, when you're taking a cover save, you're not firing and really the whole point of bringing a, fire, a flyer is, is to shoot it um, and so I think disruption pods are, are probably not very well applied to flyers. They're probably better suited for uh, hammerheads. Um, however, um, these things aside, they're both potentially uh, fun additions to your army, especially if you just want to have a flyer, something on a flying base uh, in your army. They are a great um, addition to your, your model lineup. I know a lot of people don't like the um, the struts that are on the side here, but I actually kind of like them. But you don't have to assemble the model with those struts either. You can leave them off. Um, so they are they are cool models, and you could take them for fun. Um, and uh, that said, they do suffer from competition for the fast attack slot in the army. Um, a lot of times, you're going to be really pressed to take some sort of uh, marker light platform, whether that's pathfinders or marker drones, um, potentially um, even taking piranhas, although they're not marker light support, some people uh, have been taking them. So uh, the, the flyers are pretty low down on the priority list for a competitive list um, in, as far as the fast attack slot goes. Um, so let's talk about the Sun Shark specifically. Um, that's what I have uh, pictured here. And it comes stock with a pulse bomb generator, which is basically um, a large blast pulse rifle. So it's strength five, AP five, large blast, it's a bomb. Um, but you can regenerate it. Um, so you can get multiple, multiple bombs as opposed to some bombers that only come with a set number of bombs. This one could potentially have, have many more. Um, and so that's, that's cool. Um, but it, the more effective units, or the more effective weapons that it carries are its uh, missile pod and networked marker light, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, not a lot of units have networked marker lights anymore. Um, so having one on this flyer, that Skyfire, um, can be really great. Um, so you can either use that marker light to um, fire its seeker missiles that it has hidden away in there. Um, use it to um, improve your ballistic skill for any of your, your firing weapons, um, or offer a Skyfire Marker Light to a uh, ground unit, um, which might be interesting as well. Um, especially if you're going up against a Flyer Heavy unit, or a Flyer Heavy list, it might be uh, beneficial to be able to have this eye in the sky and, and provide a Marker Light um, that way. Um, Perhaps its most remarkable asset, though, are its uh, interceptor drones, which are these guys here. Um, they're pretty awesome. They uh, come with 
twin linked ion rifles. Um, so strength seven AP4. Um, that can be overcharged to strength eight uh, blast weapons. Um, and so they can they can be detached. They have special rules that allow them to be deployed at any point during the vehicle's movement phase. So you can uh, deploy it uh, at the beginning of the movement phase, at the end of the movement phase, um, or somewhere in the middle. Um, and so these guys can be pretty pretty much deployed wherever you want them to be. Um, and that's that's pretty good. Um, they also have a special rule called afterburners, which allow them to uh, turbo loose like jet bikes. So again, they're highly mobile with um, um, some good weapons. They are so they have skyfire and intercept with uh, strength seven AP four rapid fire weapons, and can turbo boost to get wherever they need to go. Um, so you can really see these guys being a um, an asset to your army with um, with taking out either flyers with uh, skyfire and intercept, or even taking out um, some ground troops by uh, using their intercept rule and uh, overcharging their their ion uh, rifles. Um, let's see. Uh, so the options that you can take with this guy. Um, he comes stock with one missile pod, but I would recommend twin linking it for five points. Um, that is probably worth it because it makes the missile pod um, less marker light dependent and allows you to uh, free up the marker light for other things like I was talking about, either seeker missiles benefiting um, its shooting or benefiting other units. Um, so I, I mean that's really the the only option aside from the the vehicle upgrades, which I said decoy launchers might be good for um, in that area. But as far as tactics go for the Sun Shark, uh, you probably uh, want to use the bombing aspect of this vehicle sparingly, um, just because it is so um, susceptible to small arms fire. Bombing might not always be the best tactic, but if you have the opportunity to bomb, go ahead. Um, you know you can see a, a strength five bomb be pretty effective against horde armies like IG or Tyranids or Orcs. Um, you could really see that being effective there. But uh, you might want to just have it kind of um, sit back and shoot some missile pod and marker lights out, throwing a seeker missile on a flyer if you need to. Um, but Again, deploying these drones early and uh, having them them hide away and take cover and then uh, sniping out your enemies as they come onto the board can also be an effective tactic. Uh, as far as the Razor Shark goes, I don't really have a lot to say about it. Um, come stock with a burst cannon, quad, uh, quad ion turret, and uh, seeker missiles just like the just like the uh, bomber does, and um, you can potentially switch out that burst cannon for a uh, missile pod for five points. But I really think that the Sun Shark bomber is probably the better of the two flyers, just because um, because of these guys again. Uh, you basically get the same amount of firepower as the quad ion turret uh, with these guys. It is slightly less because these are twin link rapid fire weapons as opposed to a heavy four weapon. But you can put out similar amounts of ion, ion fire with the drones. Plus, you get the twin link missile pod, and the bomb, and the marker light of the Sun Shark bomber, which the uh, Razor Shark doesn't have. So um, you're basically paying a little bit more, but getting a lot more in return when you uh, go from a Razor Shark to a Sun Shark. And so for that reason, I would I'd recommend taking the Sun Shark over the Razor Shark. Um, yeah, so overall I think probably taking Sun Shark is probably better. Um, taking the Twin Link Missile Pod and uh, Decoy Launcher if you have the points, that can be good. And then just deploying these guys uh, early in the game and allowing them to uh, you know, pick off your enemies uh, when the opportunity presents itself. So uh, that's my review of the new Tau Flyers. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And happy working.